Have you ever stopped to ponder the true significance of repentance in our lives? It's a profound concept that goes beyond the surface level of merely saying sorry. Repentance resonates deeply within our souls, calling us to a higher standard of living. It's a powerful word that encompasses humility, sincerity, and a heartfelt desire to rectify our wrongs. But there's more to it. Repentance isn't just about acknowledging our mistakes, it's about a change of heart, a change of action. It's about turning away from our old habits and embracing a new path of righteousness. It's about learning from our past and using it as a stepping stone towards a better, more wholesome future. This transformative process is not a one-time act, but a lifelong journey, a journey that keeps us grounded, keeps us humble, and above all brings us closer to God. So remember, repentance is not just an act, but a journey, a transformative process that brings us closer to God. But what does the Bible, the foundation of our faith, say about repentance? Repentance is not merely an idea or a religious concept, but a significant theme that resonates throughout the pages of the Bible. Let's delve into some key verses that spotlight the importance of repentance. Firstly, we turn to the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3, where Jesus himself declares, I tell you no, but unless you repent, you too will all perish. This verse underscores the urgency of repentance. It's not a casual suggestion or an optional add-on to our faith. Rather, it's a fundamental requirement, a call to turn away from our sins and wrongdoings. Jesus is clear and direct here. Without repentance, we face spiritual death. This is a sobering truth that we as believers must take to heart. Moving on, we find a profound message in the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. This verse illuminates the transformative power of repentance. It's more than just feeling sorry for our sins. It's about turning back to God, allowing Him to erase our sins and experiencing a spiritual renewal. It's about embracing a fresh start, a new beginning. Picture a slate wiped clean, a spring rain washing away the dust and grime. That's the beauty and power of repentance. It refreshes and restores us. The Bible is rich with verses like these, each one revealing a new facet of repentance. It's a recurring theme that underscores the gravity and the grace of our faith. It's a call to self-examination, a challenge to change, and a promise of renewal. These verses are but a glimpse of the Bible's teachings on repentance, a deep well of wisdom for us to draw from. So let's continue to explore, to learn, and to grow in our understanding of this vital aspect of our faith. So, knowing the importance of repentance and what the Bible says about it, how do we apply this in our lives? Repentance is more than just feeling sorry for our wrongdoings. It's about making a conscious decision to change, to turn away from the paths that lead us astray and redirect our steps towards God. Take a moment to reflect on your life. Are there areas where you veered off the path? Perhaps there are habits, attitudes, or actions that you know are not in line with what God wants for you. Identifying these areas is the first step towards repentance. Remember, repentance is not a one-time event. It's not something you do once and then forget about. It's a continuous process, a daily commitment. Every day we must choose to turn away from sin and turn towards God. This is the essence of repentance. The beauty of repentance is that it's never too late to start. No matter how far you've strayed or how long you've been away, God's grace is always available to you. His arms are always open, ready to welcome you back. Repentance is not easy. It requires humility, honesty, and courage. It requires us to acknowledge our mistakes, to admit that we've been wrong. But the rewards of repentance are immeasurable. It brings us closer to God. It restores our relationship with Him. It brings peace, joy, and fulfillment. So as we go about our daily lives, let us be mindful of our actions, our words, and our thoughts. Let us strive to live in a way that is pleasing to God, turning away from sin and turning towards Him. And when we stumble, as we inevitably will, let us not be discouraged. Instead, let us use these moments as opportunities for growth and transformation, as stepping stones on our journey towards God. Remember, it's never too late to start the journey of repentance. God's grace is always available for those who turn to Him. Consider this today and every day henceforth.